among the first five ingredients, you shouldn't find sugar. Okay. Now, sugar is supposed to be eaten, of course, but it should come together with either fat uh, or some element like fiber, as you would find in fruit, so you can, you can absorb it a bit more slowly. Okay. So number one so is sugar. So sugar is one of the first five elements in whatever it is you're buying. It's a no-no. It's a no-no. You want to avoid it. Okay. Now, even worse than sugar. Even worse than sugar. Is this. Look how appetizing that is. And that is? This is high fructose corn syrup. Oh, that's what it is. Now, it's, a, it's very sweet. Yeah. But it's not very good for you. It's not good for you. Because it blocks the ability of a chemical called leptin, which is the way your fat tells, tells your, your brain, brain it's I'm there. Full. Exactly. I'm full. Okay. So you don't so want to So this is the thing that's blocking it, and so you just keep eating and eating exactly. until you're literally stuffed. Right. You know, it's not so much even the 150 calories in the soda pop. It's yeah. the fact that at that same meal, you will normally consume an extra 100 calories of food than you would have. Because of this. Because of this. Okay. High fructose corn syrup. Okay, got that. These are both carbohydrates. Yes. The third carbohydrate is this. Yes. This is white flour, flour, but yes. it's enriched white flour. Enriched white flour. Now, why would they enrich flour? The reason they enrich it is because they already stripped out anything that was worth a darn in it, and they add a little bit back so it doesn't look so bad. Yes. It should be whole grain. Okay. The way it has its kernels, it has its B vitamins, all the things you want it to be in there. Whole grain's hip. It's in. It's, it's in. It's in. Okay. It's in. Yeah. So these three are carbohydrates. Yes. Now, let's move on down to the fun stuff. Okay. okay. Now. Big confusion about fats. Yeah, big. This is animal fat. Yes. Animal fat is saturated. Saturated fat is from four-legged animals. Exactly. Good. If it's coming from a four-legged animal, it's saturated. So that means that these things can be solid at room temperature. OK. Lard. Think lard. lard. Bingo. Saturated, think lard. Now, good oils. Good oils. Are, oil, are liquids at room temperature. I'm repeating, so I'm putting it in my brain. Okay. You know? <laughs> Okay. Now, the thing about good oils is that they're not very stable. If you put a good oil into a cracker and try to store it on a shelf, it goes bad uh -huh. because good oils aren't very stable. So in order to deal with that problem, we took the good, healthy vegetable oils and we hydrogenated them. We added hydrogens to them. Okay, tell me that again. We took good, healthy oils okay. and in order to make them solid yeah. and make them so they wouldn't go bad in a year on a shelf somewhere, uh -huh. we added hydrogen to them. Hydrogens. Right. Hydrogen okay. makes those flimsy things become rigid. And that's what'll make it stay on the shelf for a year. Well, it makes it solid at room temperature and solid on a shelf for a year. Okay. And that's this. Oh. Now, this should be liquid. It's obviously not. Oh, this is very good for your skin. And uh, you can actually use this kind of material for furniture polish, lots of fun things. Yeah. But don't put it in you. I can use it on my feet. <laughs> 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 Some dry feet. <laughs> Good. I'm thinking this is a great moisturizer yeah, for the this bottom of my heels. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. Okay. And this is what? What is this? Lard? Uh, no. This this is actually a hydrogenated oil. Okay. It's uh, it's a material that is is created so that you can keep that stored material on the shelf for a long time. Now, here's the big deal. When you have healthy oils, yeah. And you cook with them. Mm -hmm. You oxidize them. You damage them. So the key thing to know about the healthy oils. And what are the healthy oils? Olive oil, sesame seed oil. Uh, there's a, there, All there, the ones that are liquid when right. they're. Flaxseed oil. When they're cold. Right. Some are better than others, but generally the ones I just listed, you know, canola oil, flaxseed yeah. oil, olive uh, oil, these are all very healthy oils. But because they're healthy, they're very delicate. Yes. So you have to store them in a refrigerator or at least cover them so they stay dark. Otherwise, they will, they will oxidize, they will go bad on you. Oh, really? So this stuff is great because it doesn't go bad, but it's very bad for you. OK. So the healthy oils, if you learn how to use them, take you a long way. <laughs> Put some on my heels. Uh, and this is in a lot of things. This is the hydrogenated oil, correct? Yes, this is hydrogenated to make it solid. OK. And then, but the word that you will see in the package is a trans fat. Because these hydrogens bring these molecules together, and we call them trans fats. So I don't want the thing to say hydrogenated, and I don't want it to say trans fat, and I don't want it to say saturated. Exactly. You just hit the nail on the head. 